You drive through the city, you see it everywhere right now. Brush and debris sitting in front of homes. Now the city says they're ready to pick up the mess, but there is a right and a wrong way of setting it out. Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres joins us now live with details. Hi Chelsea. Good morning. Yes, that's right. Do's and don'ts. And this is one of the do's. You want to make sure that all your brush looks exactly like this in front of your yard for the debris collection. Now, they will be coming through. The city will be coming through to get all that debris collection as fast as they can. But they need your help to make sure that process goes a little bit quicker. When Hurricane Harvey came through Corpus Christi, he left quite the mess. And now we're left to clean it. Waste management has put out a simple way for everyone to get rid of all that storm debris by separating your debris into three piles. You separate it, the process of us collecting goes a lot faster than you putting everything into one pile. The first pile should be all of your brush and vegetation, shrubs and trimmings of trees. The second pile will be your bulk items such as furniture, toys, beds, even shingles, fencing and other lumber. The third pile will be your white goods. These are your refrigerators, freezers and other appliances. The city has to properly handle each pile for specific reasons and wants to make sure everything is sorted to make for easier processing. That uh, vegetation can be recycled because it'll be mulched. And that's what we're looking at now. Both of these piles will not fill our landfill up. It will end up being mulched and could be used for citizens or other things. The white goods, which include refrigerators and freezers, will have to have the gas taken out before being recycled, and the bulky items will most likely go to the landfill. The city will make three trips through your neighborhood to collect, and if you're curious how long your debris will be out there and how long this process can take... Can't tell you when we'll get to it. I guess it, we, we're headed your way right now. Now, the superintendent does say that your debris should not be blocking the roads, especially near churches and schools. He also says with fridges and freezers, make sure they're cleaned out. And if you can take off the doors, then do so or at least tape them up. And also make sure none of your debris is all, all, all over any utility boxes or any gas meters. He says he's been seeing that a lot. And his biggest tip is to be patient. There are some do's and don'ts, and we'll have that full list for you on ChrisTV.com. Reporting live, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News. All right, Chelsea.